What's up guys, Neil here, and today we're back in action playing some Isle. Now today, I'm going to be talking about a few things, a few updates coming, and a few ideas that I know that the Isle and Dondi wants to do. Now the first thing I'd like to talk about is last time I talked about corpses and how they're going to have buoyancy and stuff. Now another thing that they want to do is they want to do corpse dragging. And that means once you kill something, you can kind of drag it away to a safer location. Now a couple people in my comments of the Dino Sukas video brought up a good point. There should be some sort of holding mechanic for the dino. So I'm thinking when they add the dino, they might also be adding in this corpse dragging feature. And I would hope that the dino could possibly, when it thrashes or drags, it can hold the creature. Because having a dino, a crocodile-like creature, not actually being able to drag it under the water and drown it, or, you know, thrash and break its bones and, you know, rip off limbs and all that kind of stuff. If it doesn't have any sort of holding feature, then it's going to kind of make the dino not quite as cool. I think the way it should work is it should be a battle of weight mass and also stamina. If I'm a Dino Sukus and I grab onto like a Parasaur, uh, the Parasaur is obviously going to have probably less weight mass than me and I'm going to be able to manhandle a little bit, maybe drag it a little further back. Depending on the difference between weight mass is how fast I can drag it and how long I can hold on to it and my stamina is going to drain. The Parasaur is going to be trying to break free of my grasp and this could be... I mean, I don't want to say, I don't want to really bring quick time events to the aisle, but it could also kind of maybe be a quick time event, um, or it could just be a straight battle of stats. Um, and by quick time event, I don't mean pressing buttons. I mean, maybe like swinging your mouse around or something to try to escape. And maybe that would cause the dino to use more stamina in the process. You know what I mean? And maybe thrashing would also be based on mouse movement and stuff like that as well. I think that would be really sick. Now, if you're of the same similar weight mass, it's, you know, your, the dino stamina is going to drain really fast. As soon as the dino stamina is gone, if the creature isn't dead, you're going to let go of the creature. The creature is probably going to have uh, ripped out throats, or maybe if you grab it by the leg, its leg is going to be ripped off or uh, like mauled. You know, it might have a broken leg. It might be dangling and limp. Uh, there's going, it's going to have a lot of bleed from the thrashing, and it's going to have taken a lot of sustained damage during the thrash. So, if you hang on to something long enough, it's probably almost guaranteed to die anyways. You know what I mean? If you don't already kill it. Now, if you try to grab a hold of something way bigger than you, or at least even maybe slightly bigger than you, like a T-Rex or a Hypo or something, it's not going to work out super well. The T-Rex might be okay since they're kind of similar in size. And especially if maybe you grab the T-Rex by the leg, it's not going to be able to maneuver. Uh, it's going to be hard for the T-Rex to actually grab and bite you. Now, right now, we don't have any sort of, like, I guess, falling mechanics. You know what I mean? Like, a dino couldn't trip a T-Rex and grab a hold of its neck. So I'm not exactly sure how that would work. Um, maybe there's going to be pre-done animations for the thrashing to where depending on the creature you would thrash on a certain body part like maybe the dino kind of like lunges up or something and grabs a hold of the t-rex's neck i don't really know to be honest but i think it'd be cool if it was a battle of weight mass and also stamina as soon as you the dino runs out of stamina like i said before like they're gonna the creature's going to have sustained a lot of damage during that process maybe you guys have some better ideas or maybe can fully flesh out that idea or feature in the future i do know they are going to bring some sort of of gibbing into the game I, I don't know if gibbing is the right word but they were talking about uh goss cannons being able to blow off body parts from dinos and also humans if i shoot a utah in the face that utah's face is going to be gone it's its head isn't going to exist anymore same with arms or legs or whatever and if they bring in this sort of system to where you can kind of customly rip off limbs or hands or fingers or chunks out of flesh or something i think that's going to kind of flesh out the dino mechanic a lot better especially with the thrashing and all that kind of stuff tell me what you guys think down below now the next thing that i kind of got wrong in my video last time is i didn't really get it wrong but i didn't really talk about it and i kind of goofed up with editing is the Dino Sukus that I showed next to the Hypo Spino is basically the legendary size Dino Sukus. If there was a Hypo Dino Sukus, that's the size it would be. One closer to the beginning of the video is the one that I think is gonna be to approximation of its size. Now I'm gonna show two things here. The lower estimated size of a Dino Sukus compared with the 1.8 meter tall person, and also the size of a T-Rex. 
Now, as you can see, obviously the T-Rex is bigger, but they're about the same in length. And also it seems like they're gonna be about the same in weight mass because the Dinosuchus, it has been known to be a little bit bigger than this. So yeah, they're gonna be about the same as far as weight mass and size is concerned. Of course, the Dinosuchus is gonna be a lot more lower to the ground. So I think that it's gonna be able to manhandle a T-Rex a lot better than a T-Rex is going to be able to manhandle it, especially if we get some sort of ambush or lunging attack. Now, the way the lunging attack should be is if it's not designated to a button for a lunge, then it should have a short ambush. So what it would do is you would press the normal ambush key, which is crouch, and it would build up for a little bit, and then you'd have a probably 150 to 200% speed boost, but for a very short amount of time. Maybe like five seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds might be even too long, but a very short amount of time. And that's for when you're on the edge of the water, underneath the water, and you're about to strike and attack a creature. You would get a five second boost. You boost out at 200 speed because crocodiles and alligators, they're really, really fast. They're, they're faster than you would expect them to be. And he's going, and they're going to lunge out at crazy speeds at you and strike really fast. So having like a 200% movement ambush that lasts for a very short amount of time might also work instead of having a de designated lunge attack. And we already have sort of a holding mechanic in the aisle, and that's with the Utah Raptor. Now it was the Osteoraptor, now it's the Utah Raptor. They can grab a hold of stuff and kind of latch on and that kind of thing. So what that means is it's basically already kind of in the aisle. Now it's gonna work a little bit different for bigger creatures that hold and drag. I don't know exactly how they're gonna do it, but they've already kind of started doing it. And I think once they fully add in the dragon hole mechanic, it's going to add a whole new, I guess, perspective on the aisle and the way it works. Because not only the dino is going to be able to hold stuff, you're going to be able to be a T-Rex and probably grab a hold of a Maya. And once you latch onto a Maya, you're going to be able to grab it and kind of pull back, you know what I mean? And drag it even while it's still alive. And I really hope that they can make the animations and this stuff look kind of good and organic. I feel like that's really the biggest problem is making it look organic and natural. And I really hope too that we get some sort of knockback in the game. Like if you're a galley and you kick something, I really want to see like some sort of knockback. Like if you kick a Utah Raptor, I want to see it be knocked back by like a couple feet. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Some sort of knockback functionality would be sweet in the aisle. Now a lot of this stuff is complicated. I'm sure it won't get as in depth as I've talked talked about in this video but if it could this would be like the most realistic like fucking amazing you know dinosaur battle sort of simulator you know and obviously people don't want it to only be a battle simulator they want it to be kind of like a life dinosaur simulator Honestly, there's a lot of features coming to improve that aspect as well. Like I talked about the nesting. Now, one thing I didn't mention about the nesting is they've been talking about the fear system or the debuff system. And the debuff system, from what Dondi said, is basically if you're a carnivore and you have a nesting ground, you're going to basically have like an area of effect. If anyone enters that area of effect and they don't leave, they're going to get a debuff. Now, just for example's sake, I don't know exactly what that debuff is going to be, but it's going to be enough to make you want to leave. And if you don't, then you're basically risking your life and I'm gonna say something like negative negative movement speed negative health that kind of stuff but it's gonna be some sort of debuff that prevents you from being in that area and that's to prevent people from like surrounding and making huge groups or I guess camping areas like that and I also talked about the movement system where people are going to want to be forced to migrate and stuff like that and if you don't migrate you're also going to get that debuff or fear or whatever you know what I mean so they're kind of working on features like that and I really hope that they do a lot of stuff that I'm talking about in here. Um, I don't know if Donnie's going to watch this, but if he does, I'm sure they already have plans for a lot of the stuff. Maybe not quite as in-depth, but yeah, it's it's going to be sick either way. Anyways, guys, that's basically everything. I feel like every video I make, I always forget to add stuff. I always forget to talk about it. I always forget to add it. So my next video is probably going to be more things that I forgot. Um, but yeah, it's hopefully you enjoy it. This is more like a little theory video with some facts added in. Like I said, gibbing or whatever is coming. Uh, the nesting debuff thing is coming. Dragging corpses is coming. And then floating bodies, ways to eat food in the water is coming as well. As for the grabbing hold, I'm sure there's going to be a grabbing system. Almost, all, all, honestly, I can almost confirm there's going to be a grabbing system, even though it hasn't been uh, stated. But we don't know exactly how that's going to work. Because if there wasn't a grabbing system, then that's just going to be kind of lame, to be honest. Hopefully you enjoyed me talking and listening to my voice for whatever, 10, 12 minutes, however long this is. And like I said, I would love to make more videos like this. So give me ideas down below because I need them. 
And thank you also to, I think it's Saber, who commented about the grabbing and stamina and weight mass system. I kind of talked about it a little bit more than I think he did, uh, but he had some good ideas, and I'll post up his comment right here if you want to read it. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one. Oh,